So we are going to be doing our stone statue tutorial. This is, of course, recorded live over on my Twitch. Feel free to come by every Thursday between 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We've already done the stone cubes. We've done stone. We've done rounded stones. We've done brick walls and we've done magic stones. But now we're thinking about a little more complex shapes. And I'm not holding anyone hostage, snap, relax. So for the stone, like we've done with the other previous stone tutorials, we're gonna use the mostly cools, cools and blues and grays and such. And let's get a basic shape. And so we're gonna bring our hard round pressure opacity brush and this brush, like before, is just a nice hard edged round brush. And we also have our soft round pressure opacity, which is much like the other one but it's softer. And these brushes are pretty much every program, but they might be different named stuff, you know, might be named differently. Uh, in Procreate, for example, Airbrush, I believe, is the section where you'll find these things. So we'll start with a hard round brush, get it nice and big, and we'll get a basic shape of one of these darker kind of colors. And we're thinking, we're thinking to have like a cool, you know, oh, kind of statue. <laughs> So we're gonna be making the shape and we're gonna be cutting into it, holding down shift to make nice straight lines. Mmm, ooh, ooh. If you don't wanna use a perspective grid, if you're if you're a, a mad lad like me, um, more commonly referred to as an idiot, <laughs> you'll just free ball it. You don't need to worry about perspective grids. We can honestly keep this part kind of cylindrical, kind of rounded, it's fine. So we have our basic silhouette shape. We're gonna just, just trim it up a little. All right, so now we're gonna make a new layer and make this a clipping mask. And then we're gonna grab one of our lighter colors. Now our light source, we're thinking from the top left coming down. All right, now let's make these have little, little bricks to them. Like they've been stacked upon one another. And because it's kind of more of a cylindrical shape, we can sort of get away with having our light source a little closer to us. Because this is a more uh, advanced tutorials, I'm not worrying too much about things we've already covered in previous tutorials. So if any of this ever becomes kind of confusing to anybody um, who's watching this, go back and enjoy the more basic tutorials. Uh, they walk you through the majority of everything we're gonna cover here. Uh, stone texture, uh, cracks, and let's have some little faces in here. I was thinking, what were the faces we were messing with? I think it was like, and there was another one up here. Let's find our edges. And because the light source is facing upwards, bottom section gets the most brightness. Just up into the point where it becomes linear. Top gets more shadow. You see, it's all coming together. Right, let's straighten out these eyes here. Cute, cute. Focusing on lighting for the most part. Things facing towards the light source get brighter. Things facing away get the shadows. Basics, basics. Make sure we have some kind of roughness in here to really help accentuate the stone texture, which we'll get to a little bit more pretty soon. Now let's cut in to these edges here. Make them really look like they're bricks laying on top of one another and they kind of have this little divot right between. Same with up here. And on the edges, let's get brighter and start highlighting a little bit. Let's add some pock marks and grooves, which is what we do with our stone textures. Stylized stone. Let's add some cracks. Let's make this line here now, because I already planned ahead for this one. And we're adding our, our textures. Slight variations. And this just shows like different layers um, of sediment, which is very typical, especially with erosion and how these things tend to weather away. Now we gotta do is just put a basic shot of of some different shade in there and then grab a nearby shade and brush gently towards the other one only on one side. So we're not gonna brush towards this one because then it'll just destroy all the work we already did. So we keep that side a little, little 
sharp, a little hard. We can even change that shape a bit too. And this is how we add in different layers. You soften one side, you keep the other side nice and nice and taut. So just like this. See, now it looks like there's different layers of stone or, or erosion or sediment, depending on the type of stone that it is. Look at you go. Look at you now. And it works the same way, because that one before one, the, the earlier one was going with light packs. Now this one's using a, a dark one. Not packs, but like, you know, different transition, uh, different transitional shape, shade. There we go. I'm very tired. Excuse me. <laughs> now we save because Photoshop's hurt us before. Let's add some more shapes in here on these different little sh little shapes of the of little of our little boys, our little friends. Some more cracks. Bit more stone texture fading, I think. Keeps things nice and varied. Helps sell the idea that there's multiple layers here. And layers is what stone's all about. Like onions. Onions have layers, stone has layers. You get it, they both have layers. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you start quoting Shrek in broad daylight like this. In front of God and everybody. Hey, that's me. No fear, right? No fear. Cracks a bit. Right now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hang on, let me get a little shadow in this bottom area, just a little bit, a little bit stronger. Nice, nice, nice. All right, now I'm thinking, we were talking about a, a sphere up here. Kind of like that, right up here. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's grab our base color, plop it in here. Remember how we did the rounded stone in the previous tutorials? We're doing that now as well.
This is a uh, lovely ball. <laughs> a ball. They call it a mine. A mine. Let's have the bounce light go up a bit more. I wonder how rough you want this one to be. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just look real quick. I'm going to treat this just like how he treated the other bits. If you want a shadow layer, we're going to put on some dark gently. Then we're going to grab the light. We're going to push up. If you want a light layer, we'll have a light bit. Put some there gently, and we're gonna grab the shadow layer and push down. Oh man. And we're slowly making these layers. The magic of stone. And by doing this, we're also making little fractals, little, um, little planes. And eventually we can just start blending these things together. Oh, should we have a little, like, uh, glowing signet in here? Like a little rune? That sounds like fun. Is that a crack to it? Yes. Yes, add glowy bits. I do like glowy bits. Now let's add. Actually, make a new layer just in case I decide against it. You know, just in case. You never know. You might hate it. <laughs> you might hate it here. <laughs> All right, now we will. Make this illuminant. Mmm, mmm. That's an idea. Drop the flow and opacity. Got a nice teal color I like. Pop that in there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at it go. Soft brush lets us do smooth, smooth things. Gentle, gentle things. Smooth gradients. Smooth glow. Smooth. Smooth, so smooth. Hard round. We're gonna turn pressure on so it has a nice little point to it. Let's make this thing actually fit into the scene. Like so. Are getting close to the um, 
extra credit part where I make it fit into the scene better. So let's do that real quick. Make a new layer, soft brush, pressure off, grab the green, change the blending mode to multiply, and here comes the shadow. Soft eraser. I'm gonna hard erase it real quick, just so I can trim this up. So I don't want any sticking out. So far, so good, so far, so good. Just blend this up a little. Nice. Soft round for this one. I'm just messing with the mask, in case anyone's curious what's going on here. I have this uh, special sunshine mask that I whipped up to help me sort of visually explain what's going on. Look, everybody, we did it. We made a stone statue. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. I forgot we're gonna make vines. Oh, that's part of the extra credit. That's part of the extra credit. Hang on, just trying to add some basic vine shapes. That's good for now, just a couple of vines. Don't wanna mess it up too much. All right, there's the extra credit done. All right, and that's the uh, stone statue tutorial done. We've done uh, basic shaped stones, we've done stone texture, we've done rounded stones, we've done magic stones, and now uh, also we've done bricks with vines, so now all of those have culminated in this wonderful stone statue uh, that is now also clearly covered in vines and magical. Compliments of chat, that was chat's idea. <laughs> if you would like to join us, we uh, do tutorials live every Thursday. Uh, you can make suggestions of what you'd like to see as well as well as ask questions live. Thank you so much for my amazing patrons and Twitch subs who make these tutorials possible. And I'll see you next time.